morning rescue in Delaware County. Cameras capturing its water rescue task force saving a man from a tree. The floodwaters rose so high he had to climb it to escape disaster. And Don, you're in Delco. What an incredible rescue. Absolutely, Sheba and Jason. We were here at the Aston Fire Department last night as the task force was getting their water rescue boats now in the fire station ready should they be needed. And they were needed. They had 2,000 calls to their 911 center last night. 27 were water rescues, including one that turned out to be a matter of life and death. Dramatic video from Middletown Fire Company shows Delaware County's Water Rescue Task Force saving a man's life after getting trapped during the height of Tuesday night's storm. Uh, he phoned 911. All he was able to tell us was that he lived off Flora Lane in Upper Chai Township. The 20 year old, identified by a family member as Joel Bryant, reportedly checking out what he thought was a fire in his neighborhood and winding up surrounded by water as the Marcus Hook Creek turned into a raging river by Riviera Drive just before 11 o'clock. Uh, at the time, the water was so strong, he had climbed a tree and really couldn't tell us much more. He also told us he had about 2% left on his battery of his phone. 911 operators able to find Bryant using technology called Next Generation 911. We were able to geolocate exactly where he was in this creek. Within three minutes, first responders on scene surveying the situation and entering the water. Crews from Aston, Middletown, Media, Chester City and Chester Heights Fire Departments braving the conditions. The danger of running water is that it's, it's uncontrollable, right? So the current that goes with that is sweeping between your legs and everything else. It could take you in sweet use. Fortunately, first responders were able to safely bring the victim to the shoreline on a surfboard. He's underplaying the courage it takes to go into that kind of running water. Uh, that takes courage, it takes training and experience. Members of the task force involved in the rescue receiving a commendation from Delaware County Council for a job well done. The victim's 22-year-old brother also expressing his gratitude. I obviously thank you. Just unbelievable. I was, I'm a little bit stunned. The victim was taken to the hospital last night where he was treated and released. His brother says he is doing just fine tonight despite going through such a frightening experience. Sheep and Jason. Dawn, we've seen so many trees downed during this storm. As far, as far as rescue crews go, do they advise what he did, you know, waiting for rescue crews in a tree? Do they recommend that? Well, I, I don't think he had a choice, Sheba. He was in the backyard by the creek, and all of a sudden, the waters just came rushing around him, and I think that was the only thing he thought he could do to save his life. And fortunately, he had his phone on him, yeah. even though his battery power was running out, and he was able to call 911, and then they were able to find him. He, he's actually a very, very lucky young man tonight. No doubt. Absolutely. Did what he had to do. Old. Mm. All right, Don, thank you.